hello guys ratu done here so guys in this video we're going to take a look on how to actually go from scratch to install django and actually install your django project first project create your virtual environment and uh, and run your server and basically get get started with django setup itself so we're going to initialize a uh, i'm teaching us how to initialize your virtual environment and actually get started in your first project up running in your server Alright, so I've actually seen this lot quite a lot in uh, in YouTube. I I recently took a Django course, so he did it in Mac OS. So I did, actually didn't find it easy to do it in Windows, and I had some problem. So I just wanted to make one in Windows. So yeah, here it is. So guys, so basically before obviously you continue, you want to make sure you have Python installed. Make sure the version is the latest version. You can go with the uh, the stable stable old version if you want, but then uh, make sure you install some version of the Python. And then guys, what you want to do after you install the Python, uh, you want to be able to create your virtual environment before you create your Django itself, you install Django, okay? So for that guys, uh, you want to be able to create a virtual environment. So how you create a virtual environment is guys, before even you create a virtual environment, make sure your default uh, terminal is CMD. Maybe you have installed something like bash or something, which I was used, using before and I found a lot of error. Okay, get my bash. Okay, so this is basically bash. So in this, most of the time, my virtual environment didn't get created. So there's a lot of issues. So basically, make sure you select your virtual, uh, your terminal as command prompt, and then click new. Then it will obviously get started. Then delete your bash, whatever. Just make sure, just make sure it's CMD terminal, okay? And then what you want to do, guys, just to create a terminal, there's a command called Python slash m to make vnv which is the virtual environment and then you can call what your file have to be so you can give the name same name so you want to say dot slash so this is for windows guys so you want to say dot slash venv so this is basically uh, just to create your file in the same folder now if you don't want to call it the v venv which is the virtual environment file you can call it project E E N V. So whatever you want, you can call it in either way. So I'm just gonna name it V N V. So make sure to to actually you know whatever it's just your preference. So guys, once you click that, your virtual environment file would automatically get created in this folder. Okay, so it's actually running. Let's see what happens. It should it should finish by now. It takes a bit of a time, but once it's done, your virtual environment should be done. Okay, guys, now we have created our virtual environment file. So we are not going to mess with anything inside this. Just, just leave it outside. And now we actually created a virtual environment site. Now we should be able to activate our virtual environment. Okay. So this is the, this is the tricky part, which the tricky part, which comes here. So for that, what you want to uh, do, guys, you want to say dot slash, which is this VNV file, or you can just say VNV if you're in the same folder and you want to say slash. So make sure your slash is not going to be this slash. It should be this one okay it should be matching the cmd slash so this i was i was actually spending more than one hour thinking about this when i started to build my django installation so i wanted to you know make sure you guys don't put this one make sure you put this one matching the cmd style okay same uh slash and then what you want to do guys you want to go inside the vnv file which is going to be scripts which is going to be inside this venv file called script and inside that you have a file called activate.bat so if you want to say activate activate.bat so that's the file you're going to name it so once you click ok there we go your virtual environment is activated now if you just to confirm if you were uh, are you in your work virtual environment this guys you can see right here venv so whatever your virtual environment file you have actually named it's going to be right there so just to make sure let's let's actually see whether are we actually inside the virtual environment so i, uh, I have a lot of pip uh, uh, files installed so i'm going to say pip freeze to get whatever dependency of install or libraries installed in the python so that's that. Uh, there we go. We get nothing. So which means that we are in the virtual environment and we haven't created any files in the virtual environment. That's that's what it means. So if you want to go back or you just want to deactivate the virtual environment, you can simply say deactivate. Okay, you can say deactivate to basically come out of the virtual environment. So you can you cannot see VNV. So let me just run the pip freeze again. And now if you see, I'm going to get a whole bunch of libraries which I've installed, Selenium and a whole bunch of stuff. So, so make sure you are inside your environment. So when I say VNV slash script should activate the bat. 
to go inside the environment. All right, so that's done. And you also should know how to deactivate. So just a command is that's just deactivate is the only command. Okay. And now, guys, before you run the server, you want to be able to create your first project. Okay. So for that, you want to say Django. And before you want Django, you want to be able to create install Django inside your project. We are gonna not we are not gonna do it globally. We are just gonna installing it in our virtual environment. So I'm gonna say pip install. Okay, you want to say, sorry, it should be pip install Django. Okay, so once you do it, it's going to collect Django. It's going to, uh, you know, whatever, whatever libraries that comes with Django, it's all going to install it. And now it should be trying. So you can say SQL is, is, is it there. It's automatically defaultly coming from Django. So if you want to use it for database or something. Okay, so hopefully it should get installed right now. All right, guys. So right now the Django package or Django, uh, Django is basically installed in our systems. If you guys can see, it's installing, collecting packages and successfully installed. Okay. So now if I just give pip freeze, I will only get Django and its dependencies or uh, Django uh, and its libraries, which is SQL and all of this stuff. So guys, now you set up your environment. Now you install Django inside your environment, and now you want to be able to run, uh, create your first project. So for that, what you should do, guys, you want to say Django django dash admin all right so django that admin you want to say start project okay so you want to say django slash admin start project and now you want to name your project now i'm going to name my project test okay so you can name it whatever you want this is my big project so i'm just going to say i mean like test project so i'm just going to say django admin start project test and just come to the name of existing python module is project Okay, so they're saying me to uh, initialize or say some other name, okay? So test is not gonna work. It's not an error actually, it's not letting me create a test file. So for that, I'll state my, I'll say first project, okay? So I'll say first project, and now there we go, our main project is created. And we have a file called manage.py inside that, and also all the files that you can, you know, connect your, uh, connect your apps, your project, you know, your first project, okay? So if you guys can see, it is actually being created inside a, full, a project called first project and inside that project it's created the first project so if you want to actually uh, create your project inside this django folder itself you just want to make sure i'm just going to delete it delete this right for now okay and now for that what you have to do guys it's just the same command all right so it's just the same command but you want to make sure you put a dot after it okay so make sure that it's that's going to create the default file inside the folder which we are in and now if you see there we go we have a, a project called first project inside a django project and we have manage pi here so you shouldn't mess with your django manage pi okay so that's like the django django stuff there going on so yeah just leave that around and now we have done it and okay guys now you want to be able to run your server your django uh, django server or python server whatever okay okay so just to run your server what the command is you want to say python manage dot pi and you want to say simply run server okay sorry it should be run server with not not any space so you want to say python manage the pi run server so if you see our server is selected at port 8177 which is our local host port 8000 so for that what you can go guys you're going to go to your brave now you can copy that copy the same thing and paste it up or you can simply say local host and you want to put the colon uh, uh and then you want to say port 8000 okay or a slash okay so there we go i installed we um a python project is actually a uh, template uh, project is installed and is running in a server okay yes that's been it for the video uh i made this video basically because i was finding really hard to uh, find a perfect tutorial which covers everything so i just wanted to make one so windows users you don't need to worry everything is right in your hands you just follow my steps and you're going to end up having you know uh, end up being in the server and you can start your templates projects whatever you want all right guys that's been it for the video and if you have any questions if you still have any problem just comment down below i'll be sure to answer that anyway guys thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you later